is so focused on social justice dialogue, the name Wang Chin Fu rings surprisingly few bells for the majority of Americans. Today we're here in Midtown for the staged reading of Wang Chin Fu, a play written about the 19th century man some would call the Chinese Dr. Martin Luther King. All I'm asking for is reality. Wang Chin Fu is a Chinese American activist, journalist, and lecturer dedicated to fighting for the equal rights of Chinese Americans at the time of the Chinese Exclusion Act. Born in 1847 in Shandong Province, China, as a teenager he was taken in by a Baptist missionary couple, coming to the U.S. in 1867. Besides organizing the first association of Chinese American voters, Wang established the first English-Chinese bilingual weekly newspaper in New York City in 1883, the Chinese American, and he is largely regarded as the first to use that term. In 1873, he was among the first Chinese immigrants in the U.S. to be naturalized. He was pretty radical at that time. Plus, he was extremely eloquent, sarcastic. He would sue people. He didn't mind being beaten up and beating people up. <laughs> um, he was a very popular lecturer and a writer for a lot of periodicals. And then Wang Jin Fu spoke out very strongly against Christian hypocrisies. And his English was better than most of your best American English speakers. And he wrote his speeches like a Southern Baptist preacher. And he knew how to attract the press. So he was very, very well known then. Wang Chin Fu, the play, depicts the life, interactions, and struggles of its heroic yet imperfect namesake in a pre-civil rights-conscious society. The play addresses topics including immigration, rampant racism in mainstream society, cultural differences, and even the women's suffrage movement through a fictionalized romance between Wang Chin Fu and a white suffragette. Although the play takes place in the 1800s, some of the dialogue is nearly indistinguishable from modern discourse on social justice, particularly with regards to representation in the arts. I realized very early on that this is a contemporary story. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Things have advanced a little bit, but women are still stereotyped, as are Asians. The play talks about whitewashing, and this is still happening now. So I think people can relate to it very well, very easily. This staged reading of Wang Chin Fu is part of the Pan Asian Repertory Theater's Unmuted Voices series, which invites the theater community to tell stories highlighting cultural, social, and activist issues in order to illuminate and elicit discussion. I want the world to know who Wang Chin Fu was. He is on the level of Martin Luther King, in a sense. He is an American hero, but he's also a Chinese hero. I also wanted to create a role, a virtuosic role, for an Asian actor. I believe new work is one of the most important things that we can be doing in the theatre. Uh, we constantly are telling the same stories over and over again, and I think the Unmuted Voices series is helping people find a uh, place to let their voices be heard and let certain stories be heard. So I, I think this is a great thing that Pan Asian Rep is doing for our community. 